This exercise says two quadratic functions are given below in vertex form. Without graphing, find the vertex and provide the domain and range for each function. Okay, so let's start with this g of x function and we'll first find the vertex. We know that this is given in vertex form, so it might be helpful to just write the general formula for vertex form. Okay, so this is f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, and then the vertex we get out of it is h k okay we take the opposite sign from them from for the h and we take keep the sign for the k so for the vertex for this one is we don't have to worry about this two yet but the vertex will be the opposite of five so h equals five and k we keep the sign equals four so the vertex is five four now we want the domain and range for quadratics, the domain is super simple. It's all real numbers. We can also write it as an inequality, saying going from negative infinity, less than x, which is less than infinity. Both this and this are correct. The range takes a little more thought. We know that this is concave up because this number is positive. So it's concave up. So we know that all the y's are going to be greater than or equal to the y component of our vertex. We can also say in the function notation, g of x is greater than or equal to the y component of our vertex. Let's try another one. Same thing here. We take the opposite sign of the h, so h equals negative 4, and we keep the sign for k which is positive 3, so k equals 3. So our vertex for h of x is going to be negative 4, 3. Domain we know is going to be all real numbers, or negative infinity is less than x, which is less than positive infinity. Now in order to find the range, we have to look at this a value. It's negative, so it's concave down, let's say our range is going to be y is less than or equal to the y component of our vertex 3. In function notation, we write it as h of x is less than or equal to 3.